Hello, my wonderful furballs. This is Dr. Wookie. Or should I say Sith Wookie? So today we got some big gala announcements. First off, uh, I want to jump into Hado Shoto. Hado Shoto. Hado Shoto. Hopefully I said that correctly. He's one of our uh, uh, gala music community members. You guys know I love to talk about our community members, what they do. Uh, so he basically has this crazy Web3 analytics system set up where you're able to see like the releases by month, monthly streams. You can see the daily beam stats for Gala Music, artists, the KPI per track, track KPI beams. I mean, he has all this crazy data and information. It is super cool to look through. Now, to access the site and to look through everything, you essentially have to uh, have a... Um, token right so he has some tokens that are on the uh, the matic chain okay that's the same as the ethereum address chain and what i want to do is well what he wants to do is he gave me 10 tokens to give away for free on the channel typically these are sold for about 50 bucks a token so that you know obviously you have access to all this incredible uh, information and so what I want you to do is if you want one of these tokens, so you can access this, see how cool it is, and of course, try to maximize uh, your track placements and pairings, go ahead and message down below with the word token, and then just drop your Ethereum address there. The Ethereum address is the same as your Matic address. And that's just so that when I choose uh, winners next time, I'll announce all the winners, but I can just send them to you instead of having you try to message me directly with each address. If you absolutely don't want to send your address, that's fine. You can still win. Just put token. And what I'll do is I'll obviously just send you a message and you need to send me a message on Discord or something. So I just wanted to show that. I thought it was super cool for the Gala Music leaderboard. Uh, with that said, Gala Music, you know, they dropped those five uh, additional track node slots. And then they did announce that uh, basically from here on out, this is going to be the pricing for extra slots starting at $200, $225, and all that will be in music, of course. And they're trying to build this kind of nice, cool uh little um basically thing to show you like hey where are your tokens coming from track distribution no distribution distribution amount or that elusive ecosystem action distribution so that's like uh you know referring people who like pair tracks and and do supporting behaviors like that so <clears throat> i just want to mention that with gala music now the gala node we saw that there's going to be two more kind of things added to the gala nodes not 100 percent sure what those workloads are for i'm assuming one of them is going to be for rep um, and maybe the other one will be for that gala chain ai system which would be crazy cool uh thanks uh, i think it's mirny if, if you say it that, if that's how it's said in discord for kind of mentioning maybe that's what it's going to be so definitely uh, keep those Gala Founder Notes updated. Uh, like I said, you don't know when the drops are going to happen for all those NFTs, so you want to obviously be ready. So Gala dropped this THX site where basically you can log in, uh, do some Twitter actions, some YouTube actions, and you can get points. What they did is they put 500,000 Gala in like a thousand of these boxes. And if you got like 8,000 points, you could purchase one of these boxes and 80% had 100 Gala. Uh, a thousand of them had 17 or 17 half percent had a thousand gala and two and a half percent had 10,000 gala. So that is a massive amount that you could have like earned, um, you know, just kind of going through and doing this. But um, yeah, I think that was pretty collect cool. Everybody already like collected all in 24 hours. I'm assuming more of this will happen. This is kind of like reminds me of just some of the other uh, social media things where you're trying to get a lot of information out and basically added marketing benefactor mentioned in one of the recent amas that instead of paying you know google ad services or whatever he would rather pay the community right to do advertising um and some of the marketing and stuff so i know some people might be mixed on that but of course like the whole point is he wants to give those that you know millions of dollars to the community right of spreading the word bringing people in referring and all that fun stuff rather than just paying google ad services which who knows like how many people you're really bringing in with a, a youtube ad right um so one big 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 Oh, wait, this isn't the big, big, big thing. We'll get to the SDK in a minute. Uh, so I guess they went ahead and they revamped their Telegram. They went ahead and just grouped together the gaming, film, music all into the same Telegram. Uh, today was the first time I jumped in there, mostly because I'm not a big fan of Telegram for like uh, information and, and discussion. I prefer the Discord kind of setup. I like Telegram just one-on-one -on -one messaging. That's totally fine. Um, so you can, of course, can you know jump in on Telegram if you prefer that. 
Smiling Monster. Gotta give a shout out because every single head of the game he basically watches does all the updates so that, you know, if you don't want to, you can just read through this and it'll be a lot faster for you. Um, and, you know, a lot of times I'll look at his to kind of give me an idea and make me remember, okay, what's going on with games? What, where are we at with everything? And so for sure, get on Twitter. You should definitely be following him, you know, for those kind of breakdowns, real easy kind of reads. Jason Brink dropped this alpha read, okay? So essentially when you kind of read through all this, which you definitely should go back and read through, he's saying that the big benefit of Gala Chain is, is a company can come on, right? And they could create uh, maybe like their own nodes to support their like file system or whatever it is that they need or want, right? And in doing so, um, that company could of course have their own uh, node or not a node token. And people who like, like get those nodes or purchase the nodes or run the nodes can of course earn that token. And that would be a like fair fair market kind of thing with the tokens versus the way like a lot of people do it in the, in the past, which is like, you know, the grants and the ICOs and so a lot of times like, ICOs, they can't even sell for money, right? And so this is really big to kind of understand that, you know, this is a way that companies can actually get some of those funds up front and directly. And in doing so is providing, you know, um, the, the token creation and distribution to those people who are running and helping with their node networks, if that makes sense. So the SDK, Gala Chain launches their SDK, which stands for simplified developer kit man i don't know if i got that right i already forgot what it stands for but basically it's obviously you know the the simple kit a nice kit to get developers uh running and working on gala chain easily which gala chain is already easier because of the way the typescript they use or whatever versus like solidity with the ethereum um, network however today was the first time i tried to access it looks like internal server down um, I'm assuming maybe they're making some adjustments. Oh, I just refreshed it and it's back up. So they must've been adding some stuff to it. Um, so this is the first time I'm looking at it, but uh, yeah, I'm not a developer. You all know that it looks like a GitHub kind of thing. Um, so obviously people are able to get into that developers. I know people are already working on it. And if you're smart enough or know how to do stuff, you could already be making meme coins on Gala Chain. So let me know if you actually come up with a very good meme coin and uh, maybe we'll talk about it. Okay. Uh, Gala Games. So where we're at, Eternal Paradox, they're in season two. It's going good. Champions Arena, the Mystic Box sale sold out yesterday, like I said it would. Um, so we knew that was going to happen. Poker Go Play, I'm looking at hopefully getting some live streaming going. Um, maybe Sunday, I would, I would really like to get a live stream going and get some people in there and playing. I played the other day, pretty fun. Uh, and like I said, for the sweepstakes, right? The when you play, you get those tickets, and then of course you can earn gala right with the sweepstakes, which is super cool. Uh, Spider tanks waiting for news. Common ground world. You guys know that I never know anything about that. Go uh, watch Dubstep Rod. The Walking Dead working, working, working hard. Really exciting. I know this is going to be probably getting close to that finished build where we can earn dead coin and things like that soon. Um, Superior, same thing, waiting till February to hear what's the latest on the case. Legends Reborn, they have been, I know it's kind of been quiet from the devs and stuff, but they've been working super hard in the background and they are shooting for a March release, which was announced on uh, ahead of the game last night. And if you saw ahead of the game, uh, Jason Brake brought me on impromptu. So we asked some questions about Gala Chain, uh, what to look forward to. So definitely, uh, you know, cl click into that, kind of see what we chatted about a bit. Um, including the node the node vote that we did you know a long time ago about you know the whole for me it looked like like kind of like a, a staking mechanism right well the reason i like that vote which you guys know i, I kind of pushed for this was because the gala a lot of gala would get locked up right and you know even though gala can't talk about token price and discuss all that and, and care as much about it obviously if the token gets locked up or a large portion of it gets locked up, right? Then obviously that would improve the the circulating supply and the overall value and yada, yada, yada. But it sounds like that maybe they want to revisit this um, and discuss it. And maybe, maybe they're going to talk about tossing it out, um, which is kind of a bummer since this is like the second vote that we had about like bonus pool or some kind of thing like this that ended up, you know, not being uh, developed or pushing forward. So we'll see what happens with that um, in further discussions and whether we, you know, move forward with that or not. But I uh, just definitely wanted to, to mention that for everybody. Um, man, Battlestar Galactica, we haven't heard anything about that either. Uh, even less than Fortitude. I say less than Fortitude because people ask about it all the time in the Discord. Uh, Echoes of Empire, 
Can't wait. Want to check it out January 30th. Um, I know the day before people will be able to get in with their claims and I think claim lands and stuff. So definitely be prepared for that. And that's all I got for everybody today. As always, stay warm, Wookiees. <laughs>